Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this paper heart in a graphic designer. So let's start with the Alt N or Option N and I'm gonna size this document with a 1440 by 900 pixels. Click Create. And first of all let's grab the rectangle. Click O and hold Shift and Alt or Option and Shift and create a rectangle that occupies around the half of the height of your canvas. So create a perfect square and uh, holding shift key uh, head over to this bullet on the top and rotate it to 45 degrees. Pay attention to this angle it should be exactly 45 degrees. Now let's convert it to pass. Ctrl shift P command shift P and switch to the Dirac selection tool clicking D and uh, play with this curve. You see it here. Now let's uh, head over to the uh, bullet uh, to the point on the bottom of this curve and uh, holding shift key align it with this side. Uh, the same do the same on the top. You see it here. Now while you have this um, uh, path you need to duplicate this path with Ctrl shift D command shift D and flip it horizontally. Then uh, match these two parts with each other. Uh, go to the modify, uh, go to the view, view mode and uh, outline view and make sure that uh, they are perfectly matched uh, to create full heart shape. So let's uh, return to the full view and uh, uh, draw a marquee, select them both and head over to the union. Unite them in the single compound shape. It's still live so you can still rearrange some some of them if you have some inequalities but uh, I have a perfect heart and I'm ready to convert it to the path so modify path convert to path so ctrl shift p command shift p on your mark head over to the fill color and darken the color make it duplicate or head over to the transform set the let's say scale value, horizontal scale value to 85, maybe even 80 percent. Set the number of copies to 3 and click apply to create a perfect shape. So now let's uh, go and lighten a bit our colors. You see it here. So with a single click, another, lighten a bit more and almost white the last shape. So we have this kind of uh, prototype, right? So this kind of uh, uh, shape that uh, I'm gonna give a, a color. So I'm gonna first of all uh, lock everything except the uh, shape on rear and select the gradient. So head over to the fill, uh, open the fill dialog box, select the line of gradient and select this uh, global swatch. And I will, let me explain what we have inside this global swatch. We have two, uh, three colors. Uh, actually, we have two colors. One of the on the sides, it's a, uh, it's a single color, DF4545, and uh, one in the center, right in the center, it's dark in color, uh, and it's A42E2E. Wonderful. Let's go now and apply the same swatch, create a swatch, you can add uh, this uh, gradient to the uh, document swatch by clicking this plus sign and now select everything except the background color, you can lock it and head over to the again liner gradient and add this swatch. You see it here. And now you can play with the values on this swatch. So let me go uh, here a bit. Uh, now let's select the background uh, heart again, uh, our initial uh, design and head over to the inner shadow, effects inner shadow and uh, set the blur value to around 25 and uh, increase the opacity to around 70 to make it less transparent. So we have this kind of cutout here and uh, let's select everything here except again background, you can lock it. Then. Ctrl Shift D, Command Shift D, create a duplicate and 
uh, rob the fill color from this duplicate by clicking on this trash icon so delete the fill and add the border and uh, for the border i'm gonna work with the five pixels border everything should be positioned inside so click on this icon uh, near the trash icon and set the position to inside here and last but not least let's change the uh, actual color i'm gonna navigate to the uh, this kind of uh, reddish white something like that and then set the blending mode to soft light so far so good let's lock this uh, layers we don't need them anymore it's just kind of to denote the highlight here a simplicity highlight and let's select our uh, fillet uh, hearts and head over to the effects panel and find the drop shadow here add the drop shadow set the blur value to 30 uh, pixels and set the degrees of opacity to 25 you can play with this value and set it in range of 25 to 35 percent so this is how you guys create these wonderful designs it's there is it in a matter of uh, minutes Ctrl G, Command G to group it, add some interesting moments here. I'm gonna grab the freehand tool, draw um, a simple line. You can uh, s work with this line as well. Then I'm gonna delete the fill, add the border weight to 3 uh, pixels and uh, grab the text tool and type love uh, story. Um, I have some issues with uh, capitalization, but it doesn't matter. Click on the scale font on resizing, resize this love story, and uh, head over to the Amatic. Pay attention that Amatic is supposed to be a font free for personal use, only for personal use, as far as I know. So, love story here in Grave Designer in uh, less than 10 minutes i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you do give a thumb up subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friend don't forget to join gravity designer tutorials group and gravity designer users group have a great day